Hi everyone, this tutorial is going to be about foiling and we're going to be foiling with this hair bonding glue. And this hair bonding glue can be bought up at Sally's Beauty Supply for maybe, I don't know, between two and four dollars for this one ounce bottle. And we're gonna be doing foiling like you see right over here. Now you wanna use some brushes that are very thin. The thinner the better. And make sure it's not one of your good brushes because after all, this is glue. And I mean, it does come out, but still. And you'll also want to have a tile or a piece of paper that you can put your glue on. Now I'm gonna tell you something about this glue. Uh, this glue is pretty good for foiling because when you put it out on your tile or your piece of paper, it will be gray. And when you're drawing with it, it will be gray. And then when it dries completely, it turns black. So that is a good indicator that it is ready to foil. When you're doing your nail, you wanna make sure that if you're putting it over top of polish, or gel polish, regular polish, acrylic, whatever. Just make sure you have removed the shine off of the nail because this is like a, it's kind of like a rubber cement in a way, you know, it'll kind of peel off if you don't be careful when you're pressing the foil on it. So it's probably best for you to have a uh, matte sh surface. I am going to prepare the foil and what I do is I spray the foil with rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I take a wipe and I wipe the foil. I kind of clean that back and what that does is it helps so that the foil will release itself easily. I'm just going to do some random drawings on my thumbnail. Now every so often you may want to wipe your brush off because it gets a little bit clumpy and that's because the glue is starting to dry. So just keep a wipe, dry wipe and just pull the glue off. All right, I will continue on with the design and then I'll be back. Now you can see that it is completely dry now and it has turned black. I don't know if you noticed when we started, but here is what it looks like. It's gray when you take it out of the bottle and you start drawing. It's a, like a medium gray and then it dries completely black. And that's a good indicator that we're ready to foil. And when you do this, just make sure that you press and lift, press and lift. Do not put it on there and rub it around because this is like a rubber cement type glue and it will peel right off. Press, lift. See that? Look at that. Press, lift, press, lift. Look, you see? And it works excellent. That's beautiful. Look at that. Just look how that foiled. Do you see? Very good, perfect. And it is ready for top coat. What I use when I do my foils is I use Gillet's top coat. Now I am not gonna top coat this because I am getting ready to do a gel painted design on this nail, so I am not gonna top coat this, but I will top coat the other nail. And you 
and just cure that in the lamp for two minutes. If you use this with regular nail polish, I think for me, I've only found that Seshvit top coat is the one that works the best for me. And here is the finished result. The purple nail has been top coated with Jalaze's top coat. And there is my thumb. It is not top coated, but it is foiled. And this hair glue works wonderfully. Isn't that amazing? Well, I hope this helps you and gives you some ideas to start doing some foiling. So thanks again for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye.